Hi folks, today we are making test distillation out of lavender on our commercial Copper Pro distiller. It has 75 gallons or 280 liters. The distiller is assembled as you can see and if you want to see the assembling process please click the link below. So let's prepare our extraction unit for the distillation. Basically we have to arrange heating like with heaters uh, or if you don't use uh, in immerse heaters you can install uh, those items instead of heaters and we have to connect gas burner. Water supply hose should be installed on the lower tube, lower connection. And from this tube the hot water will be coming so you have to connect it with the hose which will lead the water uh, into savage. Then you have to fill up the tank with the water. You can this uh, valve for this or you can uh, do through the top. Here you can see how much water is there in the tank and you should fill up the water uh, below the upper mark. The very final step before we start distillation itself is filling up the tank with the raw material. When cutting lavender, try to cut as close to the flowers as possible, because the stem does not have any essential oil. And try to put a raw material as tight as possible. It should be covered like this and press it, like really press it. So the vapor will have less space to go untouched to the flower, the botanicals, to the vapor we close the lid back connect the vapor tube don't forget the gaskets we have started the fire and we install in protection screens It will keep the heat below the tank and protect the fire from the wind. During the whole distillation, the temperature in the boiler should be about 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 95 degrees Celsius. Before the distillation start, uh, when you connected all the connections and uh, you switch on the fire, uh, you can save uh, some water uh, in the following way. You have to fill up the cooler with water and wait till the temperature will reach about 60 degrees uh, uh, Celsius. And then you can start running the water. It's uh, some trick to save some, uh, the water. Now distillation is going on and the oil is collected in the oil separator itself. And this is first uh, mode of functioning of the separator. Uh, to, uh, to have this mode you have uh, to close both these valves and to activate another mode when the oil will be collected immediately after it reaches the oil separator you have to open this valve. So you will be getting oil, essential oil from this tube and the hydrosol will be as well running from this tube. Now I will be opening this valve and I will be getting uh, the oil into this vessel. In order to get this essential oil out of separator, you have to close this valve carefully. In this way you will stop uh, removing the hydrosol from the oil separator and the 
central oil will be pressed out of the separator. Today we have got about 200 ml of crystal clear lavender essential oil. If you pack it really fully, you can go above 1 liter. Once the distillation is over, you have to undo all the connection with water supply, uh, cooling and uh, gas supply, uh, electricity as well. Then you remove the oil separator, it's already removed. And then you have to put the gas burner down in order to rotate the boiler later. Then you have to remove uh, the vapor tube uh, you have to wait until you do it with gloves or you do it with gloves because it's really hot. But I'm able to do this without gloves. Before you remove the raw material from the boiler, please ensure that the water is removed as well. Heater elements should be also removed. Of course, you can use this distiller to make any essential oil from botanicals at your farm. For more information, please reach out to our manager and we will be happy to guide you on your queries. Join our Instagram, message us right away.